three o'clock in the morning. I feel alive as fuck. I'm not even drunk or anything. I'm completely sober. I wanted to get drunk tonight. No, I wanted to drink with me. Ugh. So, oh well. I woke up this morning. Something occurred to me that I'm not happy about. I checked my email. All I see are messages from weird people with weird requests. Now, I mean, yeah, you could say it's all business related, but it's creepy. Man. Well, sometimes I, I do get great fans, but you know, I gotta say a lot of my fans who message me are you know, yeah, creepy people, man. They're really creepy people. So, if you message me and I don't reply, you gotta understand me, okay? I, For one, I'm not a chit-chatty kind of person. I say what I gotta say. <laughs> it's, you know, and then if it's a compliment, then okay, I, I see it, I read it. What did I say? Like, thanks? I don't know. <laughs> so, I'm not a... I'm just not a chatty person over messaging. In person, I could be. But I don't really like to chat over any kind of message or text. So, that's why. And if, if you don't get a reply from me, it's most likely... <laughs> because you're creepy and unprofessional. You know, I I've gotten really good at just tell even from the first email if someone is creepy and unprofessional or not. Because if I have a feeling that they are in the first email that I get, you know, without seeing them them in the person without know how they look like, even how they sound like completely anonymous. Usually if I have a feeling that their first year is creepy and not professional, they are. My instinct is always right. <laughs> so a lot of, most of the times I don't reply to any of the messages. And you know, if it's not something that's business related, business inquiries, no, I don't reply. My YouTube channel, you know, I want, my vision was to be this artistic, avant-garde, psycho, psycho thriller type of, very unique and different type of fetish films. I don't even like the word fetish films. It sounds too sexual. I mean, it is sexual. I mean, that's just how interesting it is. It's, it's just bizarre to some, but it's sexual to some people's perspective are different so I think it's interesting that way and I, I like to do it artistic way and all that so that's why I don't put any free content out there anymore I mean not really because for one it costs me money to produce things for two it takes me time for three you know the the ones that doesn't cost me money to produce, like the 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 one on one sessions I used to do before, and the the, and the custom videos that only involves me recording myself at home. I don't put it on for free because it, <laughs> it feels cheap already. You know, I don't want to be cheap, so cheap that it's free. What the hell? <laughs> it's actually like a real cheating me like a pornography actress. When all I'm really doing is falling asleep on camera. So, yeah, that's why. And then, so then again, messages from this weird psychopathic, weirdy mind twisted slaves. Do you really want me to let them worship me for free? Oh, what is that on my lips? No, for free? Before they pay me, I'm like, yeah, right, I don't think so, and they find all kinds of excuses, like, I know a bunch of this, and this, if I'm in the mood, 
I'll play with their mind and if I'm in the mood. I've done it once or twice, that's enough. I'm not into doing that all the time. So if you don't get a reply from me, that's probably also the reason why. <laughs> but overall, I think I'm pretty much done with all these weird shit. I still love things for the psychology reason. But I wouldn't do anything cheap. Definitely no one-on-one -on -one sessions. Oh, yeah. So, because my thing... My thinking before was that, because I'm looking for a boyfriend, right? I, I really want a boyfriend. Mm, so I was thinking, I have a lot of fans on the internet. You know, Instagram, YouTube. I was thinking, oh, no, I have so many views on YouTube. What if I could date one of my fans? You know, I was thinking that way, I'll do a one-on-one -on -one session to lure in some good guys, but I don't think so. I really wouldn't date any any guy who has that kind of fetish. It's too weird for me. I'm a very normal person in real life. In that aspect. Okay, I've stated many times in my videos. So yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna focus on mostly this my normal stuff now and I'm still I'm I'm very excited about the jungle book shoot. Oh and it's gonna come out nice and artistic and creative and perilous, yes. Uh, yeah, other than that, don't give me a proposal to something cheapy. You know, I like classy scenarios, I like good script. If I get a feeling that it's cheap, it's unprofessional, and you're creepy, I'm not gonna reply you.